Next, we want to talk to you about understanding your metabolism, why balancing those macros are so important, and specifically why you need so much protein in your diet. Yeah, so in that first video, we talked about how people come to us eating with their macros kind of way out of balance. And your metabolism is heavily dependent on healthy hormones, and your hormones are heavily dependent on eating macro balance, so they're really linked together. Eating the appropriate amount of protein, carbs, and fats is the secret to balancing those hormones and getting your metabolism revved up and burning through fat. So your metabolism is like a thermostat. It adjusts to however you're eating. So if you have come to us from a low calorie diet background, your metabolism doesn't care what you look like on the outside, it only cares about surviving. So it's just gonna slow down to keep up and to sustain your life. And because muscle mass is far easier to break down than fat, your body starts to shed down your muscle. It starts to break down muscle. Protein is the building block of skeletal muscle mass. So oftentimes, just adding enough protein intake back into your diet is going to build up that skeletal muscle mass, allowing your body to shed fat. But in order for that to happen, you've got to eat the balanced quantities of macros. There's about, it's about so much more than just eating protein or carbs are bad or um, eating high quality. All of these things are important, but they're in the important in the right context of how much you should balance your macros. And that's what we're here for. We're going to find out what makes your metabolism burn through that fat. Um, specifically, I want to talk about too, just your stressors to your body every single day. We are putting our body through so much stress. When we wake up in the morning, um, we need that coffee right away. Or for us, it's perk energy. We love that. And then we go and uh, and then like our that's a stimulant. Our adrenaline spikes, and then we go to the gym. And going to the gym, our um, our adrenaline spikes again if you do we do crossfit and so our adrenaline spikes when it goes three two one go and that's another stimulant to your body and then our kids come home from school and they start fighting and killing each other mm -hmm. and my blood pressure goes to the roof yes. and that's another that's another thing that spikes your adrenaline and so if you're not replenishing your body with the right carbohydrates to help combat those stressors in your life your body is gonna just be so run down and not be able to recover. Your hormones are gonna be out of whack if you haven't eaten carbs for a long time. So you don't have to fear carbs and you don't have to fear protein. Again, protein is, again, in the right quantity, it's gonna build up that skeletal muscle mass so that you can burn fat. That's our goal for you. And again, we're gonna slowly work that up. Anything you wanna add I was to that? just gonna say, keep in mind, the more muscle mass you have on your body, the more calories you burn sitting still. Yes. So we wanna build that up. And don't be afraid of the scale. This is gonna be a whole separate video, but this shift in eating more food sometimes causes that scale to bobble. Um, we have clients that are saying, oh my goodness, I fit into this pair of pants that I haven't fit into in 10 years, and the last time I fit into these pants, I was 10 pounds lighter. So muscle weighs weight. You're going to, there's a good chance you're gonna weigh more because your body is going to have that skeletal muscle mass. As you age, muscle mass deteriorates and you need protein to help sustain your muscle mass and increase your muscle mass. I think as women, so many times in the past, it was don't lift heavy weights or you don't wanna be bulky. Um, and neither Krista or I, we've been counting our macros for over almost three years now. Yeah. And we are not bulky, you know, bodybuilder <laughs> women. We're just regular women that have seen the benefits of eating a high, a balanced um, macro nutrient intake. So your body is begging for that protein. And I know that nobody at the end of the day is like, I'm really craving a chicken breast. <laughs> but your body is craving a chicken breast if you're under eating in the area of protein. I would say like 99% of our mm -hmm. clients come to us under eating in this area of protein and some of, some of them come to us eating, I don't know, about 50 grams of protein and then we're gonna ask them to almost double their intake. So that's hard, but you're gonna slowly get more and more used to it. And I think it might be important to um, share with you what we're aiming for as far as protein. Yes. How much protein do we really want you eating? Yes. And I think, um, what's I mean, we usually strive for at least your goal body weight in, in grams of protein. So if you're, you know, if you weigh 200 pounds, but you really should be around 150 pounds and that's your goal, we want to, over the course of six get weeks or 12 weeks, we want to get you there slowly. But also, it is very 
person to person specific. Mm -hmm. We've worked with vegetarians that right. getting them that protein intake isn't hard. Or if you feel like you're gagging down protein, we don't want you to feel that way either. But we do want you to understand why protein is the secret to your metabolism and eating macro balanced is the secret to a healthy hormone profile.